<laughs> I look great. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get over this hair thing, okay? So just, let's just get past the hair and we're going to go on to where we left off. Uh, got a couple disclaimers first. First disclaimer, uh, when I said it was April 30th on the first video, I was lying or I was just mistaken. It was April 29th and I posted April 29th. But what I meant to talk about was the things that were going to be happening to us up until April 30th, the first day back on the trail. Uh, another disclaimer is I think in the first video I mentioned that uh, that Tess was Tom's niece. Tess is my niece. And, and that would make her obviously, a lot of, as most of you know, uh, Tom, Tess is Tom's daughter. Uh, and just so you know, if you ever need dog paparazzi, Tess is excellent dog paparazzi. Okay, I think that's it for disclaimers. Uh, Snake. <laughs> um, we got up April 30th and we hiked up to get to where we left off. And uh, Strawberry Junction was the first spot of the PCT. That's about four and a half, four or four and a half miles up from our hotel. Uh, we got there and then followed our path that we had been on last April of 2017 and uh, we found where we made our fatal error about two miles past the north fork of the uh, San Jacinto River. We zigged and we should have zagged. If we zigged we would have been on Fuller Ridge Trail continuing down Fuller Ridge and eventually all the way down to Highway 10. However, we zagged and we kind of stayed up high and I think I got a picture of it we'll post on here later. But basically, we were skirting underneath the peak of San Jacinto and if you look at that, it's nothing but sheer rock face. So that's why as we were walking along at a slant like this with no ice axe and no spikes last year, we were having trouble and that's when I slid 30 feet down into a... Uh, tree well and uh, sent Kathy's pack hurtling down <laughs> the side of the mountain for Tom to retreat later. So anyway, uh, so we made it to uh, mile 191 I think that night. We found a camp up there. Very cold camp. It was a very windy camp. As um, a matter of fact, the clouds, we were way above the clouds, but the clouds seemed to come up out of the valley and then up over the rise and then right into our camp. And what that did to our tent was froze the entire side that was facing the ridge or facing the, uh, the valley from that side. We woke up that morning. I had left my platypus uh, <clears throat> three liter water bag, four liter water bag hanging from a nearby tree and that thing was lined with ice. Uh, and there was ice all over everything uh, on, on basically the west side of our tent. And some of Tom's tent too, I think. But anyway, uh, so we only did about 12 miles that first day, which is a lot better than our first day when we left the last year when we left, uh, left, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah, we'll do pictures eventually too. We'll do pictures eventually too. So anyway, so then, uh, May Day, April 1st, we got up from that. Hi, Amy. Hi, Jerry. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> Oh, Joel, he keeps calling you Jerry. So anyway, uh, from there, uh, we woke up at 191, May 1st, and uh, we did an 18-mile day uh, down Fuller Ridge and all the way uh, to Highway 10, which is where we left this morning, May 2nd. So some of the things we saw down uh, along uh, that trail that day uh, was at around, God, I think it was at like around mile 2, no, maybe about 195, 196, 197, something like that. But uh, there's a snake, a rattler, up on this ledge, and Tom spotted it. And we look and this, this snake starts rattling at us and it's got a mouse in his mouth, a full on mouse with the butt sticking out. Cause that's, you know, that's the way a snake rolls. He goes head first on, on dinner. But what's funny about it is, so, so we're like, we're like about, you know, four or five feet away from him. We're just kind of like looking at him. I tried to get a couple of pictures of him and uh, we just got some daylight. I tried to get a couple of pictures of him and he starts rattling at us like, What's a snake with a mouthful of mouse gonna do to us? <laughs> so anyway, we uh, we took off and just kind of left him there. Uh, we started running a lot of hikers that first day. Actually, uh, we didn't really see any hikers at all. Uh, we were pretty much all alone. 
But uh, yesterday we started running to more hikers. We got uh, people from uh, London and the Czech Republic. Yana, someone from the Czech Republic's up here. I said, oh, you know about Slivovici? He says, no, I know more about beer. Because, you know, we all know that you Czech Republican people are big beer drinkers. Um, uh, a girl from Switzerland, uh, a couple from France. Uh, lots of people up here again on the, on the hike. So right now we're a little bit... Uh, Actually, you know what? I'll do a separate vlog about today's hike later. So, uh, I guess that'll pretty much wrap up yesterday. Uh, it was just a nice trail all the way downhill. It was all downhill yesterday. Uh, did 18 miles, and that really helped. It was pretty impressive for just a second day for a bunch of old folks. Uh, we're all doing really well. We're feeling pretty good. I don't think any of us have any blisters to speak of right now. We're all holding up pretty well. And uh, no, we'll talk to you later.